Our goal with this session is to get oriented to the tanks, how to set your pressure regulators to the correct pressures, how to open the valves on your tanks, how to be safe around gas welding. For openers, when you install the fittings, make sure you know whether they're left and right hand thread. If they're left hand thread, obviously tightening would be this way. If they're right hand thread, tightening would be this way. Make all of the fittings secure. When you put the regulator onto the valve, make sure that it's seated properly. This again is the anti-flashback arrester, the single stage regulator. Notice that the diaphragm is backed off completely on the regulator. There's no pressure here. So that when we open this valve, we don't get a rush of air through the entire hose system. When we do have the hoses hooked up and the regulator attached, we'll want to check for leaks. When we open the gas, you can check for leaks at this fitting. You can check for leaks uh, elsewhere in the hoses, like these fittings and connections here. All of that can be done with soapy water and a spray bottle. Let's go ahead and open the valve. This is a cylinder for acetylene. The opening of the acetylene valve is different than the opening of the oxygen valve. In this case, the acetylene valve is open just one turn. And notice that with the diaphragm backed off, we still have no pressure reading on the hose side and pressure reading strictly on the side toward the tank. This is the actual volume of gas that we have in the tank at this point just under 150 PSI. We can get some work out of this thing yet before we refill the bottle. When we get ready to weld, we'll actually set our pressure reading this gauge. We'll get to that. Moving to the oxygen tank again, this is our single stage regulator. This is our anti-flashback arrestor, which I highly recommend. In this case, again, the diaphragm is backed off. We'll back the diaphragm off so that when we open this valve, we'll only see pressure on the tank side. Make a point of checking all of your fittings. Make sure they're secure. Make sure that you check with soapy water for any leaks. Gas is costly. Not only is it hazardous to have leaks, it's also costly. So we'll go ahead and we'll open the oxygen valve. The oxygen valve is open completely. We don't want the valve to leak. And in order to assure that on the oxygen side, we'll take the valve open fully and make sure that it's seated in an outward position, not overly tight, just snug. Again, this is the actual pressure in the tank. And this regulator is reading zero because the diaphragm is backed off. If we want to check for leaks in the entire system, we'll have the valves off here at the torch with the gas open. And we had opened the oxygen and the acetylene. And both of these valves closed. Remember again, we have pressure on this side of the regulator, but not on this side. We can take this up to, on the oxygen side, 20 PSI. You notice that's stable again with the oxygen valve shut off. We can check for leaks at each of the fittings between the regulator and the torch. We can do the same thing, run about seven PSI on the acetylene side. That would be this hose. Again, those checks are important in terms of safety and also in terms of saving gas. When these valves are off and you've shut your main valves off, in this case, the oxygen valve, with the diaphragm set for open, and remember it's at 20 PSI on the gauge right now. We shut the oxygen off completely, seat that valve, and with this still set for the 20 PSI, we can drain the hose by opening the oxygen. Both of the regulator gauges are reading zero, and for safety's sake, we'll close that up. We can do the same thing on the acetylene side. We have the acetylene valve open, remember one turn, from the seated position. And we can turn the diaphragm seven PSI, just for testing purposes here. And this valve, of course, was closed the whole time. This is the acetylene valve, red hose. And what we'll do in this case is we can use our spray bottle and check for leaks at any of these fittings or the fittings from the regulator all the way to the torch. With this valve closed, we can close the tank valve. Remember that one turn seats it, that's secure. And with the diaphragm still open, you can see that the regulator is reading the seven PSI. We can open the acetylene valve and drain the gas from the line to drop the gauges both to zero, at which point, just for safety's sake, close that valve back up.